So, okay, we're back on here. Uh, so, um, you dated for three months, and then yeah, did he? Okay. Did, you know, I don't even know that when I did meet him, but anyhow, yeah, I think we dated three months, mm -hmm. and then we went home to hit. We went to. Uh, did we wait till we got, we got married to go to his mom's? I think so. I mm -hmm. think we got married before we went home to to Maud Apple. Mm -hmm. So you dated for <clears throat> three months or whatever. Uh, so then we got married. How did he uh, propose to you? So we were in the car riding along, and he just proposed, and I said, yes. yes. And did he and give you a we, ring then, or? No, then we came back to um, Atlanta, uh, to Atlanta, to, uh, yeah. And, Not uh, Atlanta. You weren't in Atlanta. I then. mean, you were in, yeah, you were in Washington, in D.C. Yeah, I was thinking of the big street. No, right. Uh, and and we went to uh, the. Uh, it's like uh, remember the Shane Company. Is that mm -hmm. where you you go and find the diamond, and then you find the, yeah, that's what we did. So uh -huh. we went up there and found a diamond, and then we had it set and uh -huh. seventy five dollars for the whole thing. Right, and, and then, so did mm -hmm. did you uh, did you have a uh, wedding at the Justice of the Peace? Or no, did no, you have we a had a wedding, wedding at the United Brethren Methodist Church. And did, did so you had to plan that wedding? And no, we did. Well, we called the minister. <laughs> Do you have room for us on Thursday? <laughs> oh, okay. There was only four people there. Oh, really? Who who was at your wedding? Nanny and Pappy and my mother. And who else? I can't. George would have been there, I reckon. Uh huh. Did you wear a wedding dress? Oh, he took me down the aisle. George did. Yeah, that's right. That's right because he practically, he practically ran me down there. Okay. Know. But I don't want to know. Yeah, that's right. And I had on an atrocious. I weighed back then. I weighed one hundred pounds. Uh huh. And I was still as tall as I am. <laughs> so needless to say, I was like that. But uh. Daddy always used to say he married me to fatten me up, but anyhow. <laughs> um, I now, wore, I never heard that before. I, I wore a size <clears throat> 9 suit, and it was this god-awful green. Yeah. But anyhow, I walked down there, and then we got married, and then we got a pot and a pan and a, and a lamp. For, for wedding gifts. And did you have a honeymoon? Yeah, where'd <laughs> we go? You go to Niagara Falls? Oh, God, no. No honeymoon like that. No. no we went maybe up to Hershey or something. Uh -huh. Stayed overnight in a motel or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that was about it. And so then, you, uh, so then you went and lived where together? We lived in that uh, apartment that Sonia gave us. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh, he had had that that was. so we had that lined up? Yeah, where Watergate, you know, was. Yeah, they yeah. tore down the apartment to build water, yeah. Gate, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We lived there. And then I took a bus to work, and he found a job and another job besides the uh, country club, and uh, he wound armatures. Uh-huh. Now, he was he in the service? Before I met him. He oh, got okay. just gotten out of the service when I And what, when I what met was him. he? What he was service? He Marines. Uh-huh. And what was his... Um, Rank. Oh, I don't know. He was, he was expert sharpsman. Shooter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why he shot himself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. So, uh, what? What? Uh, how many siblings did he have? Oh, eight. Eight. Yeah. <clears throat> uh huh. And you didn't meet them until after you were married. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. And um, they all pretty much lived in the Maryland and Virginia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but he didn't. He wasn't necessarily really close to any per particular uh -huh. sibling. Mm -hmm. And he was not the youngest. Well, Sonia. He was, oh, he was close we to Sonia. We were close to Sonia. Uh huh. But not not uh, not none. Of and the he others. was like, wasn't he like next to the youngest or who? Daddy yeah, Robert. Roy and Sonia and Daddy. Okay. Who are the others? Do you remember the others? Uh, Alma Jean and Katie and uh, Dottie and. I don't know. Who else? Barbara? Barbara. Uh-huh. There's eight. Five girls and three boys. Five girls and three boys? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, here, here we go. Uh, how would you describe your spouse? <laughs> and uh, and are, are all of you all going to see this? <laughs> this this is this is for the family. This is for the our, our oh, family. I'm loving man. <laughs> <laughs> And, and what did you admire most about Daddy? That he could support me and five kids without a job. <laughs> without a job. <laughs> oh mercy! No, he so, was he was all right. He, 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 he was a hard worker. He was a lot to be desired, but he was all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was certainly a fun fun kind of. Uh, Guy at times. Yeah, I loved getting up on the floor <laughs> after he had some fun. And then after he knocked me down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was always just grateful I could get up. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you uh, how did you find out you were going to be a parent for the first time? Hmm. All right. I guess, well, I uh, guess the uh, normal way, right? <laughs> I called up to the Wickers. <laughs> Wickens. So, so tell us about uh, your life in the um, in the apartment and your first uh, child and what what that was like. The two of you starting off and well, in the meantime, he must say he went back to Congressional Country Club. And we, that, that's, we, you know, we met, that, that's when I met Lillian and all. Okay, and, and who was changed, Lillian? Uh, well, Sam's wife, who, he was so at the country Sam club. And, Sam and Daddy were right. friends. Dorman at the country club. And Lillian and was Sam's, uh, Lillian, Sam Fleming. Yeah. Lillian was Sam's wife. Yeah, right. And, and Pitsy, yeah. And Pitsy was their daughter. <clears throat> and you guys developed a friendship. Yeah, very close. Friendship. You and Lillian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you guys live in the same apartment complex? We lived in the same apartment complex. Yeah. Uh huh. And so for a while before we bought the house. Now, were you still working? No. Uh -uh. When Bobby mm -hmm. came, I never worked again. Yeah, that's what I mean. When did you stop working? When yeah, you found when, out you were pregnant? No, no, I. I worked up until eight months. Oh, really? Bobby. Is that right? Uh -huh. And then when I had him, I didn't go back. Now, she called me every once in a while to come and take care of the office while she went on vacation. Uh huh. But that's the only time I had to go back. Right. Now, was Bobby born in a, he was born in a hospital? Yeah, Columbia. Just okay. like you all were. Yeah. Everyone was born at Columbia Hospital for Women except Dennis. Uh huh. He was born at uh, uh, Catholic Hospital. What was the name of it? I don't know. Columbia Hospital for Women is in Georgetown mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. And the other one was what now? I'm sorry. I, I don't know what it. <laughs> Where Dennis was born? I forget what the name Why was Dennis born at a different because hospital? Because the doctor got pissed off at Columbia and oh, moved I see. to this hospital. And by the time Deborah was born, mm -hmm. he was back in good graces. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they did something he didn't like, and I think they got together and... But he did not go to that hospital when Dennis was born. So the the birth of Bobby, how did that, what was that like, bringing him home and starting a life as oh, a mother? Very good. I mean, I had no problems. Uh, with, what kind of baby was he? Well, it was a cranky baby for two months because he wasn't getting enough to eat. And so when I gave him the bottle, then he adjusted and we had no problem. And at this point, you're still in the... Apartment. Now, for, we're still in the apartment. We actually did move into um, the project until uh, after Bobby was born. And, mm -hmm. um, then you moved into government housing? Yes, and then Tim was born there. Oh, I see. I thought, uh, okay, I didn't know that. And then when we moved out of government housing into Huntley, Dennis was born there. Mm-hmm. So each one of them was born in a different loca at a different location, the same hospital. But right. All different locations. So um, Bobby was was named after his father. Yep. Uh, same name, just at a junior. How no did you? Junior, the second. Oh, the second. 
Oh, so his name is not I didn't R. L. Still Junior. It's R. L. Still Junior. I didn't want him to be called Junior. Okay. And so I didn't. Named, I didn't know that. We named him because uh, uh, Bucks the Third. We call <laughs> well, him I know Bucks that. the Third. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> I do. Take, take um, no, that's funny. Robert Lee Still the Second. The Second. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Junior. And you know, I, I guess it Second is is what it should be. Well, I was just wondering whether it should have been the first. No, because because Robert Lee Still would be the zero, well, and then you, you would know, go to the first. I, I wonder no, if that's correct. I don't know because I remember as a child, uh -huh. while while Daddy was still alive and everything, that we and, and Bobby was on his own. Now he was grown, and uh, uh, I believe he was married. Uh, we used to receive mail at the house mm -hmm. to Robert Lee Still Senior. Senior, yeah. So I believe that that's kind of what he when whenever you had the second, then that became senior. So <clears throat> how did you choose? Um, your children's name, other than than Bobby, how oh, did you wow. choose? Um, just discussing between us. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah. Well, Timothy, his middle name is a family name, isn't it? Alan. Because it's not A L A N. It's A L L E N. Uh, not that I know of. Oh really? Huh? I thought there was an Alan. Yours is the only middle name that's a a family name. Family name. <clears throat> oh really? Okay, so we have. Timothy Allen, mm -hmm. and he is born at the project. Yeah, well, he's taken home to the project. Taken, well, right, he's taken home to the project, and then Dennis Eugene is taken, taken home, home to, to Huntley, Huntley Place. Place. So, uh, how did you go about acquiring Huntley Place? Oh yeah, well, he had, like working at the club. We had we were very thrifty. Mm -hmm. We saved our money. Enough for down payment, mm -hmm. and uh, we went out house hunting, mm -hmm. and uh, and that uh, was in Silver Spring. Yeah, we looked at several, and that mm -hmm. hit us that that would probably be the best for us. And, uh, and at this point, is is Daddy still working at the country club? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And this at this point, he has gotten the gas station. What does that mean? Well, he he had he was doing. Parking cars, where he okay. named, but he also owned, not owned, but they. Like a partnership or something? No, he, it was his gas station, but until he left there, then it would be somebody else's. Okay. So while he was there, he made all the money from the, and, you know, and what he did was he waxed, washed and waxed cars and, and pumped gas, and we saved money from that, mm -hmm. and then we bought that house. Okay. And we'll be right back. That was it.